Hello everyone, my very dear audio friends around the world. Good to see you again. My name is Paul and this is my studio, Warsaw Point, my humble YouTube channel. Guys, today we're gonna talk about a small Canadian plugin developer called Time of Audio. Because it appears that their small and very simple portfolio of plugins is so ingenious. And actually they, their latest creation is so simple and so useful that I was like, what? Why nobody has done it before and why am I not using it? Uh, because I am going to use it and I'm gonna tell you more. I'm gonna totally recommend this plugin to you. It's called Dime MS and it's a meta plugin container for mid-site processing, which is so useful and so great. And I'm gonna show you a bit of mid-site processing. Why is it good sometimes? What are advantages of this? And how to make it simple with Dime MS. Also, we're gonna take a short look at Dime TT, their previous plugin. And also they are cooking the third plugin. And you know what? I am totally interested in that because if this is what these guys do, that's really cool. And as always, if you think this channel is a cool place, if you like my studio and my videos, consider subscribing somewhere here down in the corner getting notified, liking this video, commenting on it down below so that I know what you think about Dime MS. What do you think about mid-site processing? Do you use it in your every, everyday work? And what kind of tools do you use to do mid-site? Let's go now. All right, people, my session is ready before we get into it. This is Time of Audio website. Dime MS, their latest plugin. Uh, we're gonna talk about mid-start processing. So it's a plugin container for other plugins that splits your uh, signal into mid and side, as I said in the intro, with four plugin slots. Then their previous creation, Dime TT, that splits your signal into transient attack and tonal sustain to, uh, to treat these separately, also using four plugin slots and an upcoming Dime MB multiband. So you're gonna be able to split your uh, sound into bands and then process it. And as I said, we're gonna go with Dime MS today, which costs crazy 19 euro or I don't know, dollars. Euro is mainly roughly the same as dollars. So $19 or euro, crazy intro price for this product. And believe me or not, I have to tell you that there is no tool of its kind that I know. N no, I'm serious, it, it looks so simple, right? But when you think about it and when you start doing the research, actually, is it really there? Because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course, Voxengo MSED, it's a mid-side encoder, decoder that lets you manipulate your stereo imaging and stuff, but it doesn't have plug-in slots, uh, I'm afraid. Also, I found an article, uh, an article about some mid-side processing single plugins that can do mid-side, which is cool. Also, I searched through some forums, I found some paid plugins, free plugins, and you know what, maybe Blue Cat Audio has got something like it, I don't know. Multi-effects, Axiom, Amp, Delay Reverb, Mixer. Patchwork, of course, this is a cool thing that lets you do chains of plugins. Audio MIDI tools, connector, no, 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 no. Patchwork again, plugin script, rehead, remote control, blah, blah, blah. No, guys, even Blue Cat, uh, which is a company, maybe, oh, Melda, wait. M Center, M Stereoscope, M Auto Stereo Fix, maybe this one. F true mid side balance. No, actually, there is no meta plugin letting you process in mid side. And guys, let's take a look at the session. And that's our file, we're gonna work with it. A regular stereo left and right. Uh, channel music, I downloaded it from freemusicarchive.org, um, a Creative Commons music source. It's licensed under uh, Creative Commons 3.0 license attribution. The artist's name is Oh Yeah, The Future. The track name is Round Trip. Listen to Creative Commons music, support it, people. Creative Commons licensing um, is actually great and worth a separate video anyway. 
this is how the stereo track goes. You won't be asked, counted sheep, but I forgot me. I have sheltered myself from light. And I'm sending my love and my warmest greetings to the artist that recorded this, but I st still do believe there are ways to improve this track tonally. Uh, rebalancing it a bit and mid-side processing actually is going to work terrific on this track, I believe. That's going to be a very good source to present you some basic mid-side techniques. And what is mid-side? Mid-side is a different idea, mathematical idea, uh, behind uh, routing and understanding your signals. Uh, and I'm gonna show you simply how mid-side looks and works. To create mid -side, I have to actually take this, the same track, I split it into mono on two tracks, left and right channels. I sum these channels as mono channels. Like lucid dreaming. Left plus right in mono is called mid. And then I take the same signal, uh, I had to take it 3 dB quieter than this, because here the pan law applies. I'm not going to talk about pan law and stuff, but to reproduce the, the stereo image and every detail and loudness, I have to put mid uh, uh, clips for mid processing 3 dB louder than for side. And I take the same signal, but I do it 3 dB quieter, and also I flip the face of the right channel. So here I got the sum of the channels and here I got the difference between the channels and I panned it left. Yes, I flipped the face on the right and I got the difference between left and right channel. And then I panned the same difference to the right and on the right I flip the whole thing in face again. So my side signal as a whole is this. But now when I add mid to this side, this is what happens. These are identical, identical signals, but this one is left and right, and this one is mid and side. Different idea behind the processing, and why? Because mixing, or mastering even, like I'm gonna do a small remaster in mid-side, gives you lots of possibilities, not really possible with left-right processing. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it happens. And instead of creating one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, tracks and groups to do all the mid-side uh, matrix, it's called mid-side matrix, matrix, I just take stereo track and I take dime MS plugin here. Boom, this is the panel. Mid and side done for me instead of doing this. And I can of course solo mid. You won't I can solo side. And I can rebalance mid and side signals and as output signals. Also, I can choose how much of the wet processed signal is being used both in mid and in side. And you know what? I've got some ideas for making additional EQing and saturation of, of both mid and side. Because let's listen to the mid with time. Lucid, dreaming, I'm lucid, singing, I'm also listening to me. Yeah, I think that this area still, it's good to make a small corrections here without touching anything on the sides. This is 
mainly vocal what I hear, and I want to focus on the center material to do uh, this small move. So I'm not gonna touch sides, I'm gonna touch the, the mid. And also, I think that there are some issues in the bass. I, I lack some of the lowest range, and also probably I'm gonna do it something like this. I don't know, I have to listen to this um, main part of the track. And actually, probably, I'm gonna do something like this, because we had uh, too much stuff here, and I do believe boosting the presence of this vocal in here, like the mid-channel. Yes, yes. We're gonna expose it a little bit, we're gonna bring it a little bit up front. And now, my friends, side signal is this. And I believe that first we can make this a bit more open, this mix a bit more open, but only on the sides. I don't want to touch the center. And also give it a bit more body somewhere here where we cut some of the mid signal. And you know what would be really also cool? If we saturated a bit the side part. it like this and you know what actually uh, saturating maybe the low end of a mid signal is going to bring some goodness to this mix as well and I'm gonna split it here uh, so I'm gonna leave this central range intact but adding saturation here actually I would see it like this. So we did only saturation, we did only EQ, with two simple moves, two plugins, and really a couple of simple moves. And we're gonna hear the difference, but maybe also some uh, gain staging would be good, so we're gonna maybe do it like this, so it's gain matched. And you know what? I think one more thing, that because we opened up the side signal, it would be maybe cool to switch the balance a bit to the mid, like let's have a bit more of the mid than side, maybe like even like this. And let's listen to the dry versus mid side processed. Yes, And guys, exactly, this is the mid-side power in its very basic form. Look, I actually went for more mid than side signals, so I narrowed actually the sound, because I didn't like the panic of the guitars and some, um, uh, some drum elements, because it was too wide. Uh, and the, 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 the mid part of it was kind of hollow. And I brought it together, I glued it together, but also I gave the side more life. And it would be absolutely impossible to achieve the same result with just left-right. Something similar uh, would be possible. 
but this is purely mid-side magic and I don't have to, as I said, construct the whole session and struggle with it. You don't have to struggle with understanding how mid-side works, though I try to present you some basic knowledge about it and you can do stuff like this. Moreover, you can add for, we can add, for example, uh, let's add some reverb only to the side signal. Let's... Of course, in mid-side, you can do additional compression. You can actually program whatever you want. Uh, every single action is possible, and they give sometimes very surprising results, I would say. And not only you can shape your tonal uh, and dynamic fields, you can shape your stereo field in an unprecedented way. And this is it about mid-side processing. It's tonal and dynamic shaping being linked to your stereo field uh, in a less common way that gives you lots of possibilities. And having time on board, it really is easy. And I'm wondering how is it even possible that this plugin hasn't been there earlier. Like, it's so easy, so ingenious, so well executed that I'm seriously like, what? Why hasn't it been there before? And it really saves time, uh, saves money. It's not an uh, expensive one. And yes, it's gonna stay with me for good and I'm gonna look for any upcoming uh, time of audio creations because I am seriously excited that still there are things to be discovered and executed as plugins and sometimes very simple, brilliant ideas work like this. The only thing I would like to have more than four slots for processing and I believe four is the maximum right now. And also I felt that the refreshing rate, the frame rate, uh, especially on Kerhoff was kind of low, like uh, I, I could see that the refreshing rate is not like 60 hertz, like my monitors are a bit lower maybe, uh, probably the matter of some fixes and Im improvements, uh, of uh, upcoming improvements of this plugin, but anyway, it's great guys, and I'm ready to sum the things up. Yes, my friends, and that's it, and can you make your mid-side game any simpler than that? <laughs> Probably not. Like this is the end game and I'm, I'm serious wondering why hasn't it been there earlier? Like it's such a simple and brilliant idea to implement this. I don't have to make any session templates anymore. Uh, you don't have to make them uh, and you can actually it's your gateway to mid-side processing made absolutely easiest. Of course, I wish there were more than four slots to play, more with my mid and side. Uh, I wish the refreshing rate was improved, but probably this is the matter of further updates of this plugin, but it is there, my friends, and I'm wondering why isn't it there in every studio I know, home pro studio, for years now. Uh, <laughs> this is the feeling it, it gave me, so there are still very simple ideas that are looking for being executed, and they did it. And also, I do like idea behind Dime TT, and I'm also waiting for this third Dime plugin, because simple in many cases is good, and this is the case with Time of Audio, so totally I do recommend you this plugin and I'm waiting for more and I'm waiting to hear from you down below in the comment section what do you think about Dime MS is mid-side processing your thing what tools are you using and are you going to start your mid-side journey after seeing this vid yeah let me know down below take care see you soon